Good morning, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to another week in my life in New York City. Um, this one is very spring cleaning focused. I feel like I really tried this past week to clean out my apartment and you'll see more as this week goes on. But started the day writing in my planner, had a little toast, got ready, went to a workout and then came back. I had a great grocery haul from Whole Foods. I'm really trying to get back into cooking. So I got a ton of foods that um, are either great healthy snacks or some nutritious meals that I was going to make later that week. Um, made my favorite smoothie, did a little Dr. Dennis Gross red face mask. I even finally filmed a little video where I showed how to do this updo. Not that I learned how to create it or I made it up, but um, I love this updo. So if you guys go to my Instagram, you can see me do that. Put on some makeup and then I was filming some things, had some rice and beans for lunch. And then it was eclipse day. I don't know where you were when the solar eclipse was happening, but I was down to go. So I met up with my friend Cassidy, Ryan came, Kit and Ruby, and we had a few pair of glasses between the few of us. And it was really fun. We went to Westside Highway. It felt really nice to kind of all be a part of something. It was really fun and just everyone was there for the same reason. It was pretty cool. I wish we were in like the line of totality or whatever um, because it looked like it got completely dark. And then I went to the grocery store with Cassidy. Not that I needed anything. And then I ended up leaving with stuff because it's so fun going to the grocery store with friends because you learn the things that they do. And she gave me this tip for like making quesadillas at home with like these low carb tortillas. So it was fun. I need to go to the grocery store more with other friends because it kind of just teaches you new little fun meals or snacks because I always struggle with lunch. Then I went home and we got to work, you guys. I'm cleaning the shoe area. I'm organizing, I'm giving away, I'm cleaning my kitchen. I really wanted to clean my vanity. There was just products everywhere. I'm cleaning out my closet. I am folding. I am getting rid of literally just everything. Um, and that was pretty much that. Had some dinner. And then um, ate while I watched some YouTube. And finally, I um, had some hot tea, kind of winded down for the night. I cleaned my sneakers. I was unboxing some things from the Sephora sale. And I also do more Sephora sale shopping later in this video. Um, and then I also was like going through my cowboy hats that I got for stagecoach. I'm so excited for that. But overall, it was a great Monday. Let's get into Tuesday. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. I'm sitting here drinking my coffee. The sun is coming out and I'm just feeling grateful. And I just want to document this because there's nothing special happening. I just, I woke up feeling really grateful for all the things in my life. And I think it's really important when you are feeling grateful to truly address it and make it known um, because I do believe that gratitude allows um, for a better life. And it, sorry, I probably look crazy right now. And I really feel like it brings more opportunities to you because you're putting that good energy out there. I feel like yesterday I was having a great day but it was definitely a, like I felt weird. I woke up, I had this weird tension in my chest. I felt a little anxious. And then I talked to a couple of my friends on the phone last night. Two different people called me. They were having the weirdest day, just feeling sad, feeling weird. I wasn't necessarily feeling sad yesterday, but I, I'm not always into all this, but like I truly feel like the solar eclipse had some sort of effect on us. Like I feel like there was an energy shift. I mean, the moon was legit in front of the sun. That's gotta mean something. Even if you don't believe in astrology, like. I do feel like there was some weird shift happening yesterday. So I woke up today feeling like, ah, that's over with. I feel like it was just imp this impending thing. Like, oh my gosh, the eclipse, it's happening. So um, feeling good today. I'm just, like I said, sipping my coffee and then we're going to New York Pilates for a workout. I really like going to Pilates because it's very, very challenging, but I've said this before, but it's more low impact. So I feel like it doesn't get me all wound up um, and it really inspires me to breathe. Which sounds weird, but they really focus on the breath in Pilates. Same with yoga, but I just, I don't love yoga, which is funny because you guys probably know my mom's a yoga instructor. So I'm gonna do that and then get ready because we're gonna go to Hoboken. I've never been to Hoboken. I am so, so, so excited. And it's a beautiful day. 
um, and I'm going to meet up with the Electric Picks team. I'm going to their office because you guys know I wear Electric Picks all the time and I love them and their team is so fun. Um, and we've been trying to get an office visit in the calendar for a while. So I'm going to go today and she was like, we're going to get you a, a signature Hoboken lunch. I don't know what that means, but, um, yeah, I need to figure out my outfit for that. Those candles are getting a little too close for comfort, but I wanted it in the vibes. Um, yeah, it's also Tuesday morning. So I'm about to post. I am uncovered and today it's with Bridget and Danielle, the twins. And I'm so excited. This is the first one I've done with two people. And I really like how it turned out. So go follow me on Instagram or TikTok and watch it. But like, look how cute. Hi, Welcome to and Uncovered. Um, they were so fun and they were like some of my most highly requested girlies because one works corporate, one's an influencer. So it was really fun to show a little bit of both. So I'm gonna go ahead and post that now. Um, I also switched my phone case to this white one. I have this exact one in brown and then case to I sent this one, I was like, this is kind of cute and springy. Let's switch it up a little. Anyways, good morning. Count your blessings. I love you guys. Let's have a good day. Just finished doing my planner for the day. Got some work done just to get ahead. I'm gonna make these for breakfast before my workout. These are from Whole Foods and they are so good. Wearing my Dr. Dennis Gross mask for three minutes while it's in the microwave for three minutes. That works out. I continue to look so good. I just put on this little workout set from Halara. I love Pilates because I can just wear like, you can wear sweatpants if you wanted. I'm wearing these Halara yoga pants and this tank top. We're gonna go to dry bar after Pilates because that's my favorite thing to do. Um, hair is crazy, haven't washed it since Thursday. Um, last Thursday and today is Tuesday, so. But I kind of love that. I'm like, yeah, I haven't washed my hair in so long. Like, get all the greases going. But I've been into doing this like little Pilates bun where I put Divi scalp serum all in my hair and then put my hair in a top knot. I think I said this in one of my last vlogs because when you do Pilates or other workouts where you're laying down, if you have a bun back there, you can't lay properly. So I'm like, let's bring the top knot back. And this stuff smells so good. So like during class, I have an instant stress reliever because it smells like eucalyptus and rosemary and my hair just smells so good and I feel like people can hopefully smell my hair. I'm not doing this in any uniform way right now. I'm just kind of putting it all over because I'm getting my hair washed immediately after. So yeah, we're just loading up on the scalp serum. I should have done this last night actually before I went to bed so it had longer to soak. That's fine. That should definitely be enough. <laughs> I mean, my gosh. One thing about my hair, it's just always gonna have body. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna brush it to the top. One ponytail, two ponytail. Whew. Now we brush the teeth, do a little skincare. Oh, I need to grab Pilates socks. We're gonna have a good day. Like, look how cute this Halara set is. It? Like, I love it. This little cross waistband moment, nice and high waisted still. And the matching tank. It also has a built-in sports bra, which we love. I just put on my Pilates socks and some Uggs. And throw on a light jacket because it's like 60 degrees outside. We love it. It is so beautiful. I'm literally just standing on the corner so we get the sun before I go into the studio. feels amazing outside. Okay, just got ready. Here's my little outfit. I'm headed over to the Electric Picks office in Hoboken. I am so excited. I've always wanted to go to Hoboken and I love the Electric Picks team. So obviously I'm wearing some Electric Picks earrings. This little cropped blazer that I'm really trusting in right now because it kind of rides up is from Ackler, but this is such a me top, like a cropped blazer with shoulder pads, yes. These jeans may, might be my new favorite jeans. They're from the brand Girlfriend Denim. I did have to size up, so these are amazing. I'll have them linked down below, and then just some little black heels, Orion belt. I'm so excited. They got me lunch from a place in Hoboken I don't know yet, and also coffee from The Hive, and they know I drink decaf. She was like, I got you decaf, because the founder also drinks decaf. I'm obsessed with her. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Pancakes. We're trying the hive 
<laughs> What's this? A cereal milk latte? Cereal milk latte. This is MJ. She's amazing. Okay. Why is this Oh my gosh. It tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They soak it. They soak Cinnamon they soak. Toast Crunch in oh. MJ is literally the spokesperson for I this latte. Mm. In case you didn't know. 10 out of 10. Okay, guys, just got to do a little picking out of their new spring collection, including this super cute hand chain. I am so obsessed. Like, I don't even want to take it off. It's so chic. Pepperoni and a cheese. Wow, love. I'm a I'm a cheese girl. Okay, so. perfect. Wow. For scale, guys, literally, I can't. Like, this is ginormous. Wow. It's been many hours since I last talked to you guys. Electric Picks was so fun. I really enjoyed it. We made some TikToks, and I had that Hoboken pizza. It was so good. Um, Benny Tudinos. It was the slice of pizza was ginormous. Um, then I came back and my assistant came over and she helped me film a couple things that are just so fun. I did like a little festival outfits video and then I did another one. And um, now I have outfit fatigue because I put together so many outfits today. Uh, but yeah, that's that. And now I'm just sitting here on my computer as I, as I do, um, responding to emails and getting work done. And then in about... 30 minutes, I'm gonna leave. I'm going to hair of the dog in Lower East Side for trivia, I'm so excited. Ryan Delaney and some of our other friends are joining as well. Ryan has gone the past like few Tuesdays and I haven't been able to go and I really wanna go. And he said last week they really could have used me because there was a question about who plays Blair Waldorf in Gossip Girl and I would have been like, <laughs> Leighton Meester. You know, I'm there for those few, for the pop culture things, stuff like that. Uh, it's a pretty well-rounded group, Delaney's coming too. Uh, and she's really good at certain things, so. I'm hoping, I think it'll be fun. Um, so yeah, a little Tuesday trivia night, it's so crazy. Got this Ole Henriksen lip balm from the Sephora sale. I really like it. I don't think it's like, you know, oh my God, it's so much better than Summer Fridays or whatever. I think it's really nice. Actually, what I don't like about it, I love the smell, but the taste, it like, tastes kind of fruity and it kind of messes me up when I like go to drink coffee or something, but it looks good. I don't really understand the hype yet, but maybe I have to, it definitely feels really nice on my lips and when I'm applying it, but yeah. Okay, ta-ta. Here we are again, making tea. Just got back from trivia. It's, this is why I love New York. It was a Tuesday night, we finished trivia, and one of our friends joined late, and he was like, oh, well, I know it's over now, but there's a comedy place, or there's a comedy show going on at 82 Stanton, you guys wanna walk over there. We couldn't get in, there was too many people. They said they weren't letting anyone in, so we're like, okay. But like, we could hear the comedy from outside. And then we walked over to this other bar called Arlene's Grocery, and then there's live music. And that's so crazy to do trivia, live music, and comedy all in one night, in theory. Like, on a Tuesday night, I love New York for that. And yeah, I had like a beer and a half. Um, but trivia was so fun. I need to go every week. <laughs> like, I literally felt like, you guys have seen the movie The Other Woman, it's my all time favorite movie when Leslie Mann's character goes, I feel like I need to go to brain camp, like just to get your brain, th like th I went to brain camp today. It really just makes you think in a way that you haven't, like all of us were like, wow, like you gotta dig to the depths of your brain. And I'd say all of us really participated. Um, we all had different strengths. All of the movie stuff Delaney totally knew. The song stuff, I was pretty good at, but one thing I learned about myself, I feel like this is like an overarching life lesson too, is to not doubt yourself. Guys, it was so crazy. I'd be like, oh, that's the Beatles. Cause they'd play a song, which was one of the fun categories. It was like eight song, like they'd play a song and then you'd have to guess what the song was, which was fun. Or like who's, oh no, they'd play a song and you have to guess who sings it. Um, and like the first one was like Justin Bieber, so easy. But then the second one I was like, oh, Beatles. And then I was like, ah, maybe not. So I said, say the Bee Gees or the Bee Gees. It was the Beatles. And they were like, oh my God, Danielle. Then it was a song and I was like, this kind of sounds like Victoria Monet, but it kind of sounds like Ariana Grande. But then my friend was like, oh, or Tate McRae. And I was like, oh, let's put Tate McRae. The song was a collaboration with Ariana Grande and Victoria Monet. They were like, Danielle, oh my God. And then there was another one. Oh, um, how many folds, how many times do you fold the American flag? I was like, ah, 13, 13 colonies. We guessed 11, it was 13. So I was like, oh my God. And then there was another one, it was like, what? I don't remember the exact question. It was like, what was an old, it was like a team in Houston that was inspired by, like similar to the Astros, but it doesn't exist anymore. And I was like, I don't know, the Comets. And then Ryan put the stars, it was the Comets. So 
this just shows like, but I, I wasn't pushing. I was like, oh, you're probably right. Like I wasn't confident, but if something just like comes to your brain, like unless someone else is like, no, I know for a fact, like just say what's on your mind. I, I want to go next week now. Like I have to go. Um, I feel like so many of ours do trivia. I'm sure there's one closer to me that does it, but hair of the dog is fun. And uh, we got tater tots too. And I made more hot tea. Anywho, that was so fun. Felt like college, cause I feel like on Tuesdays we'd like go out and do stuff and like, I don't know, I definitely was like, whoa, I need to go home though, it's a school night. <laughs> but tomorrow we're filming an episode of AM Uncovered and recording the podcast. Tomorrow's big on camera day. So I need to figure out when I'm gonna work out tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the morning. It's Wednesday and I'm headed to go film AM Uncovered with Amira de Spain. I love her, I love her content. She's such a kind human and very funny. And I'm so excited to go to her apartment. It looks so cool and experience her morning routine. This is my outfit. Um, my new favorite jeans, of course, from Girlfriend Denim. This little white top from Abercrombie. Bomber jacket is Lamarck. Then I'm wearing sneakers because she told us that one of her things she does is go for a walk on West Side Highway. So obviously need to wear sneakers. Bringing my Stodd Moon bag. And I think it's cute. Um, it's like 56 degrees. I don't know why I'm telling you guys that. But um, I am. I feel like I need to bring a hairbrush because if we go for a walk on West Side Highway, I have no idea if it's windy. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. This view, like I'm not okay. So sorry. Hello, Bridge. Filmed at West Side Highway. It's a beautiful day. Got the shot. <laughs> so well i love seeing amira's apartment oh my gosh i am now making a quesadilla and i'm excited to give it a try i love a quesadilla and this is such a perfect lunch like i can't believe i never thought making a quesadilla i've never really made a quesadilla at home i've made them like in the microwave with just cheese but adding chicken to the mix is a little different so i really hope i'm like doing okay <laughs> It's hump day, a gorgeous on last week's episode. And we'll be together tomorrow having updates. The remainder of us cleared will be- I actually love podcasting. Wait, this looks so dank. I'm so proud of myself. I ran the dishwasher before I left this morning. So now I'm un- well, I just unloaded it and now I'm reloading. I just got these super cute glass cups on Amazon for my smoothies or you can make coffee in it too. But I'm so excited because it's like a little frappuccino top almost. Comes with a glass straw too. So now I'm reloading because I'm gonna be cooking in here later and I think I'm gonna run the dishwasher now so that when I'm done cooking tonight, I can just load her up. But yeah, lit a candle. If I light a candle when I'm cleaning, I just feel like everything's together. I don't know how to explain it, it just is. Coffee time, Brooke is having fun with the syrups. What did you just put in? I did brown sugar. Brown sugar, baby, it's called. Ooh, honey, honey. <laughs> That's fun. Let's see how it tastes. I got a little lavender tea here. How cute. Thayer, happy to serve you. Here we are. Here we are. In the studio. Yeah. Ready to chat. Recording is over. It was a really silly episode. I feel like all of our episodes have just been so fun and silly recently. Headed back now. We're having a night alone. I need to just cook and chill. And I really wanna watch the new Brandy Melville documentary. And I wanna take off my makeup. I feel like it's been on forever and it's looking a little weird. Honestly, it's not actually. Maybe there a little bit, but. 
I'm back. I immediately showered and got in cozies and we are cozy all night. I'm gonna cook this bowl. This was my inspiration. Shannon's fiance, James, put this on his story of what she cooked and I was like, I want to make that. But I'm gonna do ground chicken. I have avocado, I have beans, I have salsa, I have corn and I'm assuming there's rice under, yeah, there's rice. So I have all these things. I bought, the, I literally was inspired by his Instagram story that she reposted. Um, so I'm gonna play some music. I'm gonna cook because I'm like already hungry. And well, I guess it's 6.40. I hit 10,000 steps today. I walked like everywhere today, which feels good because I didn't like get a workout class in. But I'm like, I got 10,000 steps. Like that's a lot of walking, so. salsa and corn. I want to get this documentary queued up so that when I sit down with my bowl I have it. I know that's crazy but you know when you like have a good meal and you're like I just want something to watch now that's that's how I feel. Okay this is so confusing it's an HBO original but it's on Hulu but this is what it's called it's called Brandy Hellville and the Cult of Fast Fashion. I am locked in. I'm gonna play it and then make my bowl and enjoy it. <laughs> I'm sorry this is stunning and I stand by that. The coziest vibes all night. I'm gonna turn the TV off and head to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I straightened my hair this morning and I didn't realize how long it is. I feel like I'm always wearing it in like a blown out way which I think just looks better. Like, I feel like this just looks like little tails. Um, but what do we think? Should I wear my hair more sleek like this? I feel like my hair is just in that awkward length and I'm just waiting for it to get here. But I'm taking my Nutrafol every day and I'm using my scalp serum, so. Um, anywho, I just got an exciting little package in the mail. Thank you Prada for, no, I'm kidding. I totally bought these things. So this is a little twofer. Maybe not. There's only one box. Now I'm a little concerned. Um, well, there, I ordered two things. One is a gift for Brooke for her birthday. This looks like a note. Oh, then this must be Brooke's, maybe. Oh, I don't wanna open it, but I need to. So I got something and then I got something for her. And I need to make sure. No, see, this is mine. Where is hers? Don't love that. Okay, well, this is what I got for myself. Um, I'm doing some Western trips in the next few weeks. We have Stagecoach, and then I'm going to Jackson Hole with my friends. And Miss Shannon Ford fully influenced me. <laughs> I got a Prada bolo tie. I am elated. I am so excited. Try her on. Yeah! has all the tags on it right now and stuff, but like, imagine a super chic Western fit with the Prada bolo tie, bolo tie. Anytime I go to Nashville, like this is coming everywhere with me for the rest of my life. Like this will not age. This is so chic, so cute. I'm obsessed, so I'm so pumped. And then I was like, Brooke is so hard to shop for because like you would think she's not, cause she's my best friend and I know everything she likes, but like she has a lot of things. And she, as you guys might know, she got an otoplasty. So she got her ears pinned back. So she's been wearing her hair up more. And I was like, how cute would it be if I got her a Prada hair clip? Cause I've seen them everywhere, the Prada claw clips. And um, so I got her this black one with gold detailing and I'm like so excited. I wanted to see it. Her birthday's on Monday. 
Where is the freaking claw clip? They sent this in a gift box and I'm like, no, 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 the other one needed to come in a gift box. I love it, a little dust bag for the Prada bolo tie. And then this is like a little hand, like a note that I could write in it for a gift, but this isn't the gift. So I need to double check, because I like did it through the phone, but like my mom ordering on the phone. There's no receipt. Is it because they thought this one was the gift? Oh gosh, okay, well, I need to call in the big dogs here and double check on this, but either way, thanks for watching my little haul. Uh, it's almost, it's about 8.30. And I'm about to head uptown. I'm going to the Nordstrom. I freaking love that Nordstrom. And uh, I'm going to a little Skims pop-up. They're doing a pop-up at Nordstrom on 57th Street. And I'm so excited to go check it out. It's so crazy that my job, what I get to do is stuff like this. Like I get to, I get to go to the Skims pop-up early and check it out. It's a part of what I do. And I'm really grateful for that. I'm like, will Kim be there? Oh, and I got the Rag and Bone sweatpant jean. They're only... I only say only because I feel like rag and bone so expensive, but these are sweatpant materials, so they shouldn't be that expensive. They were, I think, like $100, um, which is not cheap, but for rag and bone, I was very shocked. These are literal sweatpants, but from afar, I feel like they truly look like jeans, so I'm gonna give them a ride today. There's no button. I think if they put a button, that would just be a little bit more believable, but I've seen them online and in photos, and I was like, these are sweatpants? So I'm really, excited about these guys. They are so comfortable and it's like a gloomy day. So I thought this would be nice. So I think we're going before Nordstrom opens. Like I feel like Nordstrom doesn't open at nine. I feel like it opens at 10. Um, so afterwards I might walk around the midtown a little bit cause I don't find myself up there a lot. And then head back cause I have a lot of stuff I need to do. I love coffee so much. <laughs> it's a little bit later. I made breakfast. Got a coffee, I made a coffee, another coffee, um, and I'm happy on a call. I showered, I've showered twice today now. As soon as I can take off my makeup for the day, I totally do. I'm happy on this call. Um, it's just like internal with my team. I have a workout later. I've just been crossing things off my to-do list, to be honest. No one else is on the call yet. I love Google Me because it says like who's there so far. So I'm gonna hop on, mute myself, no video. I love when people hop on and like, we just all decide we're not doing video today. I put on a hat in case we're doing video. Oh, someone just put on their video. Oh gosh, they have their video on. Hi guys. Hello, hello. Finished up a lot of work. Now we've got Bala Bangle Bar at Equinox. Let's pick out a workout outfit. In the gym fit, I'm actually gonna get to the gym early so I can walk on the treadmill, get some steps in, and then from there I'm gonna take the class and I'm gonna use the steam room after because that just sounds really nice and I have no self tan on <laughs> and it's a hair wash day, so everything just makes sense. I'm gonna go in with my friend Cassidy and I decided I have a water, but I'm gonna drink electrolytes on the way there because feeling a little dehydrated. Let's go. say was feeling pretty blah and now I feel incredible I mean I can't I don't have enough time to do that every day where you like go I did 30 minutes incline walk then the workout class and then steam after and shower at equinox I mean I feel amazing can't do that all the time but it, I'm just this is me reminding myself and you guys when you do the workout class when you go to the gym when you go for a walk you just feel good the serotonin or the endorphins are going um, yeah, so I got in the steam room, felt amazing, showered there, and I just brought this onesie to change into. I don't like change back into my sweaty clothes. Oh, I'm happy. Gonna go for a protein shake. I keep drinking the chocolate ones, but honestly, I haven't tasted the vanilla. Or do I not have vanilla? 
Do I only have cookies and cream? Oh no, I have, I'm gonna try vanilla and see what that's all about and then I'll have dinner later, but I feel like I need to drink some protein after a workout, right? Update, I really like this flavor. <laughs> it kind of tastes like pancake batter in the best way. Like I love pancake batter. Um, this is the brand Owen. I love their chocolate ones. It literally tastes like I'm drinking chocolate milk. It's so nostalgic, but it's like good for you because it's got all that protein. The vibes are right. Night two of my little taco bowl. I have enough leftovers that I can make one more bowl tomorrow. Like how amazing. Gonna put on some sort of TV while I eat this. I'm just proud of myself. I've cooked a lot this week or prepared. Someone was like, this is not cooking. I'm like, well, I cooked the ground turkey and the rice and I heat up the beans. So that's cooking, okay? This is legit one of my favorite movies and it's on the home screen of Netflix. I think that means I have to watch it. I've seen this so many times. I love the soundtrack, like this little oons, mm oons. Mm I love the intro. <laughs> Just pause the movie because I am not going to bed until I tackle this. I've been meaning to tackle this. Um, this is basically like my toiletry bag from oh, from my last few trips and I didn't unpack it because I was like, oh, I'm traveling in a few days, why do that? But now I'm here for today's Thursday. I'm leaving in a week, but like this is not sustainable. So let's, we're gonna clean all this up. I'm so excited. I'm just about out of my um, face wash in there, the Youth to the People, and they sent me a refill which is so great, so much better for the environment. And like a body wash, I love me a body wash. So I'm just gonna get to it really. This just needs to look better. have I been in today? Let me know. <laughs> this might look like a razor, but it's the Sola Wave. And I've had this. It's like red light therapy, but I just got this in the mail, which I want to try. This is the Sola Wave Skin Therapy Activating Serum. So you're supposed to start with cleansed skin. I just washed my face. Follow instructions, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to apply the serum and then like do this red light therapy. Um over my skin. Maybe it just helps it. There's like hyaluronic acid in this, but I'm assuming it also just helps it glides. You turn on and it buzzes and it's red. It's similar to like the Dr. Dennis Gross thing I had on my face earlier that I've been using this week. However, I like this because it vibrates and you can also kind of press down a little bit. So I feel like it's a little snatchy. I don't know. I go in phases of like using things like this, but recently I've been really into my red light face mask, using this. I just dermaplane my face a little bit. Um, this isn't hot or anything, it's purely just red light. And I think the vibration is supposed to help with like lymphatic drainage, that's why it buzzes. I'm just feeling ugly this week, <laughs> clearly. I'm like pulling all the stops and um, I'm trying so hard not to self tan because next week I'm going to the Cayman Islands and I'm so excited and I, I'm gonna get a spray tan like right before I go, but like I just wanna have a fresh base. So I'm gonna, I'm really trying to not tan before then, but honestly, maybe I should and just scrub it off on Wednesday. Do I really wanna be pale? I don't know. Ta-da! Feeling so much better. I used to really try to keep this super minimal and legit only have the soap and like my toothbrush up here. But you know what, that's just not realistic. So up here now, I've been keeping my essence. I use that every morning after I wash my face before I put on any product. The best soap and lotion in the game. I mean, love by Rado. You to the people body butter for a post shower lotion. Two different face washes here, a lip balm. I have scars, so I've been using scar gel. And then my Divi scalp serum and mouthwash. So that's kind of the little sink lineup. I need to kind of reorganize these. These are getting a little bunched up, but this travertine tray is literally from Amazon and I love it. And of course my 2024, sorry, I keep doing this. It's so fun to do. 2024 vision board. Um, and yeah, I'm glad I got it laminated because it, you know, I shower in here and it's still, it's still looking great. So feeling accomplished now. Spring cleaning. This is just my favorite part of my apartment. Every time I look over here, I'm like, ah, 
cozy. Just cleaned out my coat closet here and I thought I'd show you guys since it's warming up a little, I moved my lighter jackets towards the front and then all my big puffers and parkas towards the back. Cause like I have like my rain jacket for example is the first one cause April showers, hopefully bring my flowers and then just some like, like a trench, like lighter coats. I mean, these are still pretty heavy. Um, and then some of my lighter puffers but I think that'll just be better than all of my cowboy hats right there, just chilling. <laughs> just cleaned the countertops as well. I feel like everything's sparkling right now. She really said spring cleaning. I've now gotten into my pants. I took all of my pants out while well, I'm almost done. I have, oh gosh, I always bump into things. A few more out there. I've just taken every pair of pants out and if I'm not sure about them, I try them on and if not, they're going in the, that pile. I'm having friends come over this weekend and like go through my clothes and then the rest I donate. But these, all three of these piles are my keep piles. So I used to have it organized by color, but it's just not really realistic because these, the three piles I decided to do are my everyday. So these are all the jeans that I feel like I'll be wearing, or pants, but they're mainly jeans, honestly, that I'll be pulling for. So I'm going to keep those in the middle, like in the middle part of that rack. Over here are my special pants. So fun leather stuff, two-tone, a little denim and leather, my metallic pants, that nature. So that'll go in like the back corner or one of the corners. And then this is like my second tier of like other trousers and cargoes, things that I would like pull for second after these. Um, so that's how I'm going to attempt to organize them. Um, so those are the pants I took out, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I still need to fit all that in here. It's always a journey, like, but I am very grateful that I have this closet, of course. But yeah. I struggle in the pants department. I feel like I, I'm always searching for the perfect pair of pants. Like I'm always buying tops, but then it's like pants, it's tough. So, and I obviously have a lot of pants and I'm glad that I, I have purse. <laughs> I'm getting delirious, I think. Okay, I'm gonna put all this back soon, but I thought I'd update you guys here of what's going on and maybe this will help you create a system for yourself. I am so happy right now, like, Organizing your closet just makes getting dressed in the morning so much easier because you just know how everything goes and you can organize it and then it just it messes up and that's normal. You just have to redo it like every I feel like every few months if I'm realistic I gotta kind of get in here, but I'm so glad I did so I've got like my main my main hose right here And then on either side like the second tier and then over there are my special pants <laughs> It's the only word I can think of it and then actually up of here I can't even see I have shorts which I don't wear shorts a lot, but they're there in case I want to wear them, but I'm so happy they're not like overstuffed. Everything, like I'm just, I'm very happy with this. <laughs> Things have escalated. I decided, eh, while I'm in here, let's go for the sweaters and the sweatshirts because honestly, I was like stuffing things and I just need to refold everything and I realized like this side was all sweat sets and sweatshirts and this side was all sweaters but I don't really have that many sweaters so like I, I mean I still have a good amount of sweaters but you know what I mean so and I'm tossing or not tossing I'm giving away some so I'm like bringing some sweat sets over here because I just need peace and that will involve me moving some things this way. Oh my gosh, I feel like a new woman just looking at my closet. Like, I'm not the best at folding, but you get the idea. Like, these are all sets right here. These are my little workout jackets and like a sweatshirt that I like to wear when I work out because it's like lighter. All of my The Bar sweatshirts, another sweat set, some more crewnecks up there. Down here we have some sets and some crewnecks. My chunkiest sweaters, cream sweaters, one of my favorite sweat sets more lighter sweaters that are kind of like shirts and then these are kind of like my daily go-to's when I pull for like cozy clothes when I get home so like these three pairs of pants including the pants I'm wearing right now and then like these sweatshirts and then like some more lighter sweaters and then another sweat set up there so I'm feeling fabulous next I need to tackle up there just really like those like I just need to fold those right there but Man, oh man, these are my swimsuits, but I'm just leaving them down there because I'm going to the Cayman Islands next week, so I'll, like, go through all of that, but I'm so happy. Good morning. Uh, it's another gloomy day in New York. How rude. Just did my pressed peel pads. We're going to go in with the essence now. I'm headed to the gym. I'm going to go back to Equinox with Cassidy, but we're not doing a workout class. I think we're just going to do, like, treadmill and weights, which sounds nice, like, a nice little Friday and uh, I have some errands to run like a return to do when I go back to Sephora because the sales still going on and 
I have rouge, so I get 20% off. This is the hyaluronic acid I've been using from SkinCeuticals. I don't think they sell SkinCeuticals at Sephora, but I'm basically out of this, so I want to get some more. I was looking, Kiehl's has one that I bet is really nice, or The Ordinary. Either way, I just want to get more hyaluronic acid, and I was like, well, let me get it for 20% off. Um, and I want to get shade matched for a foundation that is this color, which is my natural, not sun-kissed color, uh, which is scary. But I do need help, so I'm hoping someone at Sephora will be able to help me with that. And uh, I need new, like, eyebrow scissors. I don't know where mine went. I bring them on every trip with me and sometimes people use them and I wonder if it just got like left on the counter But like I like to like trim my brows. <laughs> Those are the necessities at the moment Maybe some travel minis putting on my skin fix barrier serum now I'm also thinking to hit the steam room again because I didn't wash my hair yet So might as well wearing an all black lululemon fit I'm gonna put on some sneakers i guess we'll put on some perfume why not whenever i wear this perfume people tell me i smell good and if someone else is wearing this perfume i also know well it's technically a cologne this is le labo tenoir it means black tea it is so good if you ever go to le labo give it a sniff like i kind of want to get ryan on it i won't tell him that i also wear it because i think he'll be like what but like it's totally unisex i love when guys wear that scent so nice. I feel like I'm losing my voice. But yeah, today's a pretty chill Friday. I just made some toast and feeling really just, I woke up feeling, <clears throat> I woke up feeling so good because my apartment is so organized, specifically my clothes and like walking in my bathroom and my products were just not everywhere. It is crazy what it does for you. I'm gonna get some things altered today because I have the biggest problem with pants. Like, I always, I typically need to size up in pants um, because I have wider hips and then bring in the waist. Or I need to get them hemmed because I'm 5'3 and like every pair of pants I've been getting these days is too long on me. So in this case today, I'm getting a couple pants hemmed. Yeah, I just feel like my life is together and it feels so good. I think it's because I'm not traveling. I am traveling next weekend, so I'm just getting all my ducks in a row today. I think Brian and I are going to stay in tonight and cook. Okay, I have to eat. But feeling good. I need to wash my hair. I just keep slicking it back. Um, but they have like moisturizer and face wash there, so I have a little skincare on. Um, I'm wearing a rain jacket, but it's not raining, so I feel really weird. We are now running other errands. I just did a return. I'm gonna go to Sephora. Something else. Oh, CVS. Fun stuff. now perfect timing because it is now pouring rain um you guys saw the quite the haul i did at sephora but i'm really excited i've been wanting to try some color well products so i'm pumped about that got more hyaluronic serum got an iced latte i'm so cozy i have my alterations appointment in 45 minutes and i'm like can it please not rain by the time i go i'm really considering self tanning like i'm really considering self tanning because i feel like shit but um it's time to get to work on my computer. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this spring cleaning vlog. I'm, pro I'm probably gonna continue spring cleaning into this weekend because like, I wanna clean my makeup brushes. Like, I just wanna do everything. So I don't really have much plans this weekend, so I might as well take advantage because the next three weekends I am traveling. So I love you guys. If you enjoy these vlogs, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.